Dan is so welcoming. She's bringing us in. She's looking at us all. She's telling us about this great medicine she wants us to think about. She wants us to really consider getting involved in the new ways of how to take care of yourself. And there's some real facts that she starts talking to us about. Only Patty could make something as spectacular sounding as a saliva test. <laughs> it seemed like something we should actually consider, right? Yeah. She had a great pitch when she was talking about that, right? So she kind of enunciated it in a way that I think we all would have. So I the test. Okay, that was pretty much how I felt about it too when she said that. She was up here with the gesture, she was bike riding, she was ballroom dancing. She was doing her usual great job of just being very animated up here. How about when she was tied to the house, right? How much you could see her literally with ropes around her, tied to her little home. Her opening, she brought us all in very quickly. She talked to people, she talked to Mitch, she talked to Carolina. She used colorful language. The crumbled paper that needed to be ironed with a blooming flower, right? Your mind opens up to these images and it really brings you in. Her goals today were select info that would be very good for us to know, presented in a way that we would understand and retain, and presented in a way to motivate us to act. In my opinion, she met all three of those goals today. She obviously had good information. She presented them in a way that was easy to understand and retain, as I said, things such as visceral manipulation, which sounds terrible. Those are things that start to stay with you because she explained them in such a way as to make them very relevant to your life. And of course, who could forget the life of death, right? If I had one suggestion, it would be the few times you had to read your speech off the paper, the speech slowed down. That's why we try to get away from using notes, from having to read our speech at any point. The time she was up and looking at us, right? I mean, we were all with her. There was only a few times that your volume came down, your pitch came down, your gestures kind of stopped, and it was because you were kind of looking down at your speech. Other than that, and of course, little time management, you were beautiful today, as always. Good job, Patty. Thanks. Seven years ago, uh, no, no, that's not it. But ask not what your country can do for you. No, no, not that one either. Is it a fair, is it a far, far better thing that I do? Well, close. To evaluate an accomplished speaker is as much of a challenge as it has been for Mitch to create an introduction for today. <laughs> Please welcome our challenge evaluator, Mitch Phillips. <laughs> <laughs> 